something I'm extremely passionate about, something I love doing, something I can wake up at any time of the day to do and stay up very late to keep doing it. Garby has been chainsaw carving for the past year and a half. He quit his job and now spends his days turning old trees into new art. I started with chisels and knives before I ever picked up a chainsaw. Yeah, and I just love trying new things. I think that's something about uh, being a creative artist, a visual artist, is um, not doing the same thing over and over again. I really love doing faces uh, and incorporating animals with faces. Um, I think they bring uh, a sense of connection to nature, and I think that's something that more and more people are looking for nowadays. As you might imagine, Garby has a lot of chainsaws, eight in total, and they can be set to specific carving depths. They're just like a little paintbrush assortment, if That's you want to look at it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Garby says he can finish some of his projects in a single day, if he can avoid some of the pitfalls. Um, nails definitely don't cooperate with chainsaws. Uh, if you look on the table over there, there's three huge spikes I pulled out of this one. Uh, and then sometimes you deal with cracking and knots. Um, fur likes to uh, bleed sap. You get into sap pockets once in a while, so that can be fun washing out of your hair at the end of the day. Garby sells his works for between $500, upwards of $2,000. If you're interested in seeing the finished product, head here to Lombardi Park where you can check out one of his works. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.